Hello world! Today we're going to make three easy recipes using corn. After much research and many lost lab rats, these are the three tastiest and easiest recipes to make. First things first, rip off the corn husk and do that motion to get rid of any leftover silks that I left behind. After that, I'm chopping the end of the corn so I can pop it up into my bowl. I prepared a large bowl here with a smaller bowl inside placed upside down. This prevents the corn from flying everywhere once you cut off the cob. We're using two ears of corn. I'm kind of just praying that I won't accidentally cut myself at this point. Then we'll add a half cup of mayonnaise and mix to incorporate. We'll add 1 4th tablespoon of salt. You can do this before you put the mayo in and let the corn juice drain, but we like the end product on the juicy side. Then some pepper to taste. Don't judge. We really like pepper, okay? We'll take one jalapeno and dice it lengthwise and set aside. Heat your pan and roast the jalapenos to give them a nice smoky flavor. Set aside and add a bit of neutral oil with a slice of butter. Add the corn mixture to the pan and spread it out evenly to one layer. Cook this for about three minutes and add the jalapenos. Mix and cook for about another three minutes and finally add a layer of cheese. Mix to combine, let the cheese melt, salivate a little, and then add to an oven safe bowl. Add another layer of cheese on top and broil in your oven for about 7 minutes or until the top layer of cheese is browned and bubbly. And voila! It's extra gooey and extra creamy. Now we have my lab rat right here testing it. He didn't die and he loved it. I call that a win. We have two more cheese dishes left though so I confiscated this dish from him after this bite. Dish number two, easy elote in a bowl. Repeat the dehusking process. Set aside, oil your pan and get it nice and hot. Make sure you hear that sizzle. Stir after about 90 seconds. Gordon Ramsay the pan a few times and set aside in a bowl. Ready your grater? We're using cotija cheese, a very lactic, crumbly cheese, quote unquote. Crumble some big pieces with your hand and then go in with your grater and grate the rest for some textural variation. I'd say I'm grating about a cup, but you can really grate as much as you like. Set aside and grab a jalapeno. Dice it into smaller pieces. Don't touch your eyes or do whatever you prefer. Add it to your corn and then grab a handful of coriander and the green parts of a green onion. These veggies are from my humble garden. I took all the coriander it produced and now it's just naked. Anyways, add that to the bigger bowl, give it a quick mix, and now we're going to zest a lime. Make sure you thoroughly zest it until it's skinless, like this. Cut it in half and squeeze out the juice. No promises though, this is a Costco lime. Now add a half cup of mayo, a fourth cup of sour cream, and the cotija cheese you just grated. We like it spicy, so I'm using two different types of chili powder here. Cayenne and dried chili flakes, about a half tablespoon of each. Grab three garlic cloves and grate them into the mixture. Add some pepper to taste. Again, don't judge. Mix and taste. I think I ate half the dish tasting it. Grab a small chunk of that cotija cheese and crumble it on top. Add some pinches of the dried chili for garnish. I'll spare you the munching, but just know it was good. Really good. This last dish is probably the easiest and quickest out of the three. Grab your corn, do the thing. La -di -da -da. Grab your pan and heat it, cook your corn, you know the drill. 
add it to a bowl and set aside to cool. Prep your pan with a layer of oil and turn the heat to medium low. While that heats up, add 1 4th tablespoon of salt, 1 egg, a 3rd cup of cornstarch, and mix. It'll be a little hard to mix at first, but eventually it'll turn into this thick, gooey mixture. Add your mixture to the pan and spread it out so it's a thin layer. After cooking it for about 2 minutes, add a few layers of mozzarella on top. Cover and cook for about 5 minutes. Check the bottom and make sure it's brown and crispy. We're almost done, I promise. The last thing we're going to do here is plate it and garnish with sesame seeds. And voila! We call this one corn pizza. It's crunchy, sweet, and cheesy, and the cheese pulls on this one are immaculate. As you can see, my lab rat really enjoys this one. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed these recipes like we did. If you like this video, subscribe and give it a thumbs up.